Hi, welcome back to another episode of Versatile Gun Dog. Just received a text from a good client asking a question that I hear fairly often, and that's when to introduce the e collar to your training method. Quite simply, it, it's not necessarily when per se, it's how you do it. When your dog is able to understand the commands and is very proficient in responding to the commands, then, then there's a, that's a good time to start introducing the e-collar. If your dog truly doesn't understand what's expected of him or her, introduction of the e-collar would be futile because they don't know what to do. They don't know how to respond to the stimulus when you uh, start pushing on the, the e-collar button. So it's important to lay your groundwork first. Example is using a check cord while you're giving the command here or uh, whatever that command may be. Um, typically, I like to use the here command in conjunction with the e-collar and the check cord so that they have an idea of how to respond to the stimulus. So I'm going to start the pressure just before I say he, the word here. Rush. Here. On. I'm going to pull him to me. Off. Good. Good boy. And then praise. Rush. Pressure on. Here. Good boy. Good boy. Up. Good. That's a good boy. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully that gives you an idea on how to start to introduce the e-collar into your training uh, program and look forward to seeing you in the next episode.